let's create an export button here let me rename it to btn export and here we already have database two data set and uh, here we already has tbl contact stable adopters we don't need to uh, create a new OLEDB connection or we don't need to create a table adopter or we don't need even to create or fill uh, a data set so it's already everything is already here so what we now need to do is that we will read all the rows that we already have in our data set that we have read from the source file we'll read it one by one and we'll add all these rows to the destination or the access files that uh, set so it's it's quite easier what we need to do is for each loop we'll use a for each loop for each data row r in uh, DS context and DS context we, as we know that contains the uh, all the data from the Excel file dot tables zero dot rows so this for each will each uh, loop will read one row at a time and uh, store it in R so what we need to do is we will define a new data row new data row let's say it dr equals to and this new data row would be would be for the destination data source that is for the access access table and so instead of creating a general data row we'll use we'll create uh, uh, d data base 2 database to data set dot oh, it's not working here L let me create it here and then I'll copy it here I don't know why the intelligence not supported in the for each loop so it's here we can see yeah here it is data set to database to data set dot the table name is already here uh, tbl contacts dot neuro so using this function new row function uh, let me paste it here delete it and then right click and paste so in this way uh, a new data row dr would be created that would be for the tbl contacts so it's very simple to copy the contents of data row r that belongs to ds context data set to dr uh, data row that belongs to tbl contacts so we can simply write dr0 as as uh, uh, the arrangement of the cells or the columns in the Excel file and in the access table are same. We can look at it here. Last name, address number, and here we already have. So the the arrangement is same. So we can write dr zero equals to r zero. So the zeroth column of uh, row r would be copied to dr zeroth column of dr. So similarly, you can write dr1 equals to r1 and dr2 equals to r2. So in this way, all of the columns of uh, data row r are copied to dr, data row dr. Now, we have copied it to dr, but we need to add this row dr to this data set uh database two data set for tbl context so what we uh, we can do is database 
to data set dot tbl context dot rows dot add function to add a row and we will write here dr and now when we will run this application first we will import data from the excel file we need to get rid of this message box so simply comment it and then we will click export so you you have seen that all the data from the source file is now exported to uh, our, our, our uh, con TBL contact data set but still the the change or the data would not be added to to the database you can see here let me look So if we click here we see here we cannot find any data here the reason is that we have only added the data locally now this is the local database this is the this is the representation of the data set the data set the changes in the data sets are not translated to the source so to do that task what we need to do is we will simply update the data source that is a bridge between our application and our source so data adopter is used to bring the data from source to application and to update the data from application to source so in order to write the data to tbl contacts what we need to do is we will use tbl contacts data adopter what's the name its name is tbl contacts table adopter contacts table adopter dot update so simply uh, calling the update function of tbl contacts data adopter and uh, giving the name of the data set here so the name of the data set is data base two data set our function will be performed okay now the x is already running so it's giving the problem let's run it simply read the excel file and export it and now if we look at the database the data is written into the database so, so it's, uh, it's quite easier and you can also work here by uh, for example if you read an excel file let, uh, you can edit the data here you can add new uh, rows here and you can export that to excel file as well